Hi folks, welcome! In this last week I played so much a multiplayer game online and every time I, somebody kill me uh, start, I start to think about a project that can give me an advantage against them and I'm talking really about building myself something, a real object you are going to love this project so much because today we are going to make some headphones that have real surround inside them we are going also to make a control box to control everything and the position of uh, many speaker inside the, um, the headphone has to be very precise so let's get started let's move on to the pc so the first thing i need to do is to draw the shape of the headphone and place four little speakers in the front side and one on the back side in total we have five speakers and the back one is the subwoofer to bring the sound from the back to the front i designed two little holes that end up very precisely in the center of the headphone. In this way, the sound coming from the back speaker will go to the front without problems. worked the piece greatly but I soon realized I made a huge mistake in fact designing in 3d with a computer doesn't have I don't have the real feeling about the real dimension of the object and you clearly see that this is huge even if it's cool to own huge headphones this is almost bigger than my face so I absolutely need to redesign the, the piece and this time we're going to make it a little bit smaller and rounder because it's also much easier later on to find some foam pad that can cover the ear so let's go back to the computer and design them smaller this time okay a simpler design this is the base of the headphone let's make the place for the little speakers I want to place them this time all in the front side of the headphone and to do this I decide just to make the holes with different depth like some stairs in this way I have place for all the speakers but they don't really touch each other let's make the back side a little bit cooler and I'm ready then to work it on the CNC machine This time everything works fine, I also engraved my logo here on top, but I made two mistakes. The first one was that everything was so thick, so I, um, the collet of the CNC machine started to scratch against the, the base, so a lot of smoke, I risked to break the machine as well. So never leave a CNC machine work by itself, always stay there, there to supervise everything. And the second mistake I made uh, because the, the wood block was too thick and the collet was hitting it, I decided to cut it with a band saw, so it's a bit thinner. But this time I have to flip the, the piece to cut the other side to put the speaker inside. So I think it's impossible now because I have no alignment to reference to align everything perfectly and cut it on the other side. So this second design is okay, but I have to think it another time and so let's come let's go back to the computer the wood board i place in the same machine will be thick 24 millimeter i start to design here a 12 millimeter piece that holds the speakers and also a 12 millimeter cover that goes on the back so the plan is to work first the front part of the, the headphone and then the back part this way we have no more problems I need only to add four little components more, one on the bottom part, which is the place where all electric cables goes inside, and two little pins on the sides will be the place that can hold the headphone on my head, and one on the top, just to keep everything stable inside the workpiece, which is represented in red. So let's move on to the CNC again. Okay, from the CNC machine, something is not working anymore very well. I was very lucky at the first two versions, uh, both came out the first try very well, but now I'm having a lot of troubles. Maybe I'm just playing a lot with messing up with 
some procedures. So the two first headphones come out came out like this, which is which I think is ugly, very ugly. And now I realized that it's very very complicated making just one headphone. So let's make a pair of headphones in one single try. So let's change the design, put them together, and put the G code in the machine and work them both in as a couple. The sandpaper reveal a big mistake. I don't know why the CNC decided to make a big hole in the, here in the middle. I tried to fix it using some glue and some wood powder. And even if these he headphones look nice, it's time to make them again. And this time I'm planning to use a harder wood. This is cherry wood. I really love the texture of this wood. And I'm pretty sure that the harder the wood it is, the better the details will come. So let's start the software. And finally, after all these mistakes and all this work, I finally have in my hands the two headphones ready. And I really love how it came out, also the logo and how the shape, the round shape of the headphone came out. And for sure, I not stop for these little pieces of wood coming out from the top. I will fix them with some sandpaper. Now using my band so I can cut away the piece and remove all the corners that aren't anymore needed. This has worked as a support to keep everything in place. And now I can take my sandpaper and clean up the front part of the headphone and also the back side making sure not to work on the logo because it's so thin and I can I can screw up everything in this process. These parts on the right and on the left are the parts that ca can keep on the arc of the head, the headband of the headphones, and I can make them much more round using a drill bit and my drill. In this way, I cut away the excess wood, and everything come much uh, precisely. You can see now they are perfectly round. Later on we will think also about how to make the uh, headband. Now I order it on internet these little speakers. I choose different dimensions and they will be placed inside holes I made in the headphone. So the bigger one is the subwoofer, now, then we have the side one, the center one and the back one so these are the place where they're gonna put and now it's time also to take some electric cables this is a jack jack cable i ordered five of them and they are very long are three meters long so i can then cut them later i take now a drill that is four millimeter just wide enough like the electric cable and drill four five holes each one will end up inside the place of the driver, the speaker. And so it's the first time I really designed something in 3D and it's so nice that finally everything is coming uh, at a result. And you can see that the holes are so nice spaced from each other, it's such a precise job. And now I can take the electric cable that is very long, I repeat you, it's three meters long, I can cut it using some scissors and now place the electric cable inside the holes. So this one goes inside and later I will fix it in place using some 
five minute epoxy glue, which is a very, very strong glue and will keep the cable tight inside the wood. I use different colors just to make sure to don't mess up the order of the, the speakers, the little speakers. Now using, using a soldering iron, I can solder the electric cables to each speaker and later, once they are all soldered in place, I can use 5 minute epoxy glue to glue also the speaker in place. And this is how it looks like. So I can put this part apart and move on to continue the project. Let's take now some um, epoxy white epoxy and i can put it on top of the logo this way i can have much cleaner results between the white part and the brown part of the wood i clean everything with some sandpaper and this is the logo much nicer than before the uh, headband of the headphones will spin in two direction it can spin this way and also on itself the one I'm going to make is made with this stainless steel piece that comes from an oven of the kitchen. I can cut two parts now that will form the, the, the structure that can hold the headphone. I can bend it on, on a very heavy metal base and this round part will be placed here around the headphone. I can cut away the parts and the idea is now to connect two metal rings on top of the two wooden parts and then weld them to the stainless steel part but i think they are too heavy i don't like it at all so i need a change idea a change plan and i'm going to use these stainless steel washers and i want to connect them at the bottom part of the arc this way and to connect them i can use my spot welder it's a project from six years ago now, but it's amazing, it still works great. I can then put a couple of points of uh, welding here on top. And this is a very difficult pro part because usually welding such a thin parts with a normal welder is almost impossible. But with this spot welder, uh, you can see it's just a matter of seconds. So I repeat this procedure four times and then end up with this parts making sure that are centered and they can fit perfectly on top of the headphone and later on I will place them inside using some little screws now let's test the parts you can clearly see that the part is very strong and almost bend the, the stainless steel inside in, instead of the washers this nut can be welded here on the center of the arc using uh, also here the spot welder this uh, will be used to connect and make the movement of the headband uh, on the over my head later on you will understand better what i'm talking about so i also took two other stainless steel parts from the oven weld them on one side this way and stretch them open a little bit the, in this over this little weld part i will connect also a very small screw and this will be screwed inside the nut i showed you at, earlier so this is a very simple way to make myself the headband which i i thought was easy but it's, it's not so easy it took me a couple of days to end up with this solution now let's take a head a fake head i will be use this part to bend up the stainless steel consider that this is a small head comes from a female uh, mannequin but i have a much larger head so it's okay even if it doesn't bend perfectly it stays a little bit wide because my head is bigger so now let's take a piece of wood i drill four holes inside of it and this is just a prototype to see if it works later i will make it nicer but the idea is just to fix the, the stainless steel inside and it's very easy also to adjust how wide the headphone is and you can clearly see now that everything spins freely on the little screw i weld in place i can cut away the, 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 wood, the wood support i put on the side that aren't anymore needed drill holes on the side as well now is finally the best moment of the project i can spread all over the headphones some wood product and you can see that comes much darker and you can see all the grains of the wood i really love this, this process i can then fi fix in place the headphone using 
two little screws. These are very small ones because I don't want to crack the, um, the fibers of the wood. So just put small screws are more than enough to keep everything in place. So are over. <laughs> Finally, the headphones are done, are over, and I really love the fact that they can twist this in this direction and also in this direction. This is very, very important because they have to take the shape of my head once I wear them. So you can see that they can fit here perfectly without problems. Maybe now we are wondering why I had so many cables to the headphones. The reason is very simple. I don't want to interference between the cables. So in this way, I think uh, we get a much cleaner sound into all the speakers. So now I only have one problem, which is a small one. I have to figure out where to connect all these 10 jack cables. And because I want to convert the HDMI cable that comes from a PC or from just a console, like an Xbox or a PlayStation, and convert it into analogic signal into a 7.1 channel surround. And I already know how to do it, so it's not a big deal. And I will show you next week how I made this prototype using some knobs to control the volume from for each speaker and the, the circuit that can, that converts everything so so if you enjoyed this project please leave a thumbs up this is very very appreciated and if you are wondering how does does the welding machine i show you at the beginning works it's very simple i made a tutorial about this machine as well like six years ago now and you find the link here here so check it out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial ciao ciao